Okay, we're going to show you how to hook up your Cyclops uh, pole camera today. Uh, when you get the set, the monitor is going to be in the box here, along with the cable. It should be here. Um, this is your camera head setup. It'll have the lights on both sides here and here. Um, initially, when you get this, you're going to want to take the monitor and the cable. There will be a red dot on the side of the cable. Click it in on the outside of the monitor there. There's a power button here that you will need to turn on. So you can turn on the monitor. When you turn on that power button, you'll notice that the battery will light up. So this will just tell you how much battery power you have. When you want to turn on the set, the power button's up here. We'll do that afterwards. Um, with the other end of the cable, you've got a rather large connection here. This actually is going to go onto your Cyclops port camera. You'll see that there's two connections on the back. It will go onto the right-handed connection on the back of the cable, or on the back of the camera has LED. Secure that in, tighten down the bracket. If you need to do um, underwater inspections, you basically have a little knob here and what you do is you attach a air pump to it and you just add, add air into the system this way and that will give you a little bit of buoyancy and help protect the camera unit while you're using it in water or underwater conditions. So for right now we'll just put that back on. Turning around to the front of the camera, <coughs> push down the power button on the monitor that's going to flash on. And you should have your working image right away. To control the lights, you're going to use your L2 and L3 buttons on the side of the monitor. So those will help turn on all your lights or control just these lights or just these lights if you're getting too much brightness or, or if you're having a bit of a reaction. Um, depending on what you're looking at, you might want them all or you might want only some. A um, couple things to know about the monitor. Um, when you want to pan, the W and the T are going to be the pan. So right now you're at 1. As you zoom in, it starts to jump up. So you'll go to 2, 3, 4, 7, 10, and then all the way up to your maximum zoom, which is 36 for optical. And then if you go, you can go to a 72 zoom, but it becomes digital, so you notice that your image doesn't become quite as clear, so you can't read the labeling quite as well, until you go back down to 36, and then it should focus in a bit more, so you can see labels, and you can see some finer print from that distance away, and then when you zoom back out, you'll notice that everything else as well is clear, because the camera will autofocus for that. Uh, another thing to know about the unit. The home button is actually for a uh, tilt feature, so you can actually tilt the camera up and down using that. So once you insert it into a pipe, if you need to reposition it a bit, you can do it this way instead of trying to angle the pipe around. Um, side to side buttons shouldn't do anything for that, but if you hit the home button, the home button will basically just readjust the camera unit back to level position by itself, so you don't need to fiddle around with anything. It'll just center it itself. Um, aside from that, your blue buttons will be your OK and record. So you will use those to capture files. Uh, you can capture videos doing it that way, or you can switch it over to capture images. So it can do image bursts, etc. cetera. Um, and then menu functions you can also access um, on the screen as well. So that'll just be some of the features that'll be explained in the manual.